Fidel Castro. Fidel Castro, I thought he was a whiz. I saw in him a lot of heroics in the very beginning that was very, very attractive because uh, he was not the first great leader of a movement that had been called a terrorist mm -hmm. or that was unacceptable to the status quo. Dr. King was a terrorist and a communist. So was Nelson Mandela was a terrorist and a communist. And as a matter of fact, it wasn't until just about three years ago or so that America finally took Nelson Mandela off the, uh, off the terrorist list for the State Department as undesirables. So when I was a young man growing up and looking at all the rebellions that were taking place, Ho Chi Minh for the Asian people, mm -hmm. uh, Tom and Boyer and, and Julius Noreri and other people in Africa, and then you take a look at Michael Manley and people in the Caribbean, he was part of a time and of a global upheaval that I found very, very, very attractive. Uh, I'd gone to Cuba for a long time before Fidel Castro became involved. I had a lot of Cuban musicians, a lot of friends, hung out there with many a weekend with Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr. to have a weekend fling in Havana when we were working in Miami. So I had a long history with Cuba and Cuba's people. And when Fidel Castro stepped in, I was happy for us and for the Cubans. When it began to go adrift, like so much else went adrift within the communist order, right. we began to have a new set of concerns. Uh, uh, I don't think communism in and of itself was what went wrong. What went wrong was another flaw in which the human race suffers from. Because the best that's even in America and in our Constitution was rooted in a certain kind of evil in its day. Because when I look at a Constitution that says, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, and you look at the minds that could create that phraseology mm -hmm. that, that, that pushed an idea. And at the same time, these very same men were holders of slaves and cruelly subjected people to a second-class li uh, life of second-class citizenry. That was an evil, something villainous. And I think that what happened with communism, what happened with the leaders, power corrupted them and corrupted them to the point where they became totalitarian, they became so oppressive that they had to eventually implode, which is what happened. And I think Fidel Castro uh, made a lot of mistakes, but I think in the beginning he was very heroic.